Hello everybody and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot. It's been a while since I've played this, but in that time I went and got every single crystal I could. And now we're going to the Great Hall. I've already done this, I've seen what happens. I'm just gonna show you guys what happens here quick. So once you get all the gems, you can go this way. This path opens up. It's also been a while since I've played, so I might be real shitty. And there we go. And what do we have here? The true ending cutscene of the game. Hello. I feel like an idiot, but to be fair, this game never explains it. I always thought she was Coco. She's actually Tawana? Tawana? She's his girlfriend. Coco's his sister. Two completely different characters. I thought they were the same. <laughs> That's just all, all this. Sell the ruins to the Castle Cortex to resort developer. Use the proceeds to open a big and tall shop on the island. Oh, Papu. After intense therapy and eight years of higher education, Dr. Rue went on to write a well-received book, The Thought of the Eye of the Vortex, a study of rapid evolution and its consequences. Something. Kowal Kong moved to Hollywood and landed a motion picture deal of Universal Productions. Currently, he's working with a speech therapist to improve his diction. Pinstripe moved to Chicago, where he, is na where he now owns and operates a citywide sanitation company. He's saving money for his upcoming... Rubnational campaign. I don't know what that meant. After the disappearance of his mentor, Dr. Nice's Brio rediscovered his first love. Tending. Bar. What? Lawyer? The world has heard nothing more of Cortex and Scratch foiled his plans, but evil geniuses are harder to squash than cockroaches. I like how it gives ending to all of them. They each go and do something either good for the world or just. Yeah, they're gone. Also, I figured Stormy's set. Let's do it. And so, it has been a while since I've played, so I will probably die a lot. I'm just gonna go for the crystal. I'm not gonna go for any time records or anything. Hiya. I also do feel like an idiot the entire time I played through the game. Oh, duh. I, uh, I always thought you couldn't die when you were trying to get all the boxes and the crystal. You could. Oh boy. Oop. It's gonna be tougher than I thought. Oh, oh. Gotta get the timing down. Ooh. Oh god, these are here too. Oh. Okay. Have your old man. Looking good. Looking good. I also don't know if there's any checkpoints here or not. I guess we'll find out. Oh, I gotta get this box. Okay. Also, I realized you could do this to see how many boxes there are left. Never press the button the entire game. There are checkpoints. Sweet. I also do have plenty of lives, so we should be good. Moving too fast. Oh no, no. Fuck. You're good. You're fine. Goddamn mask. Okay. Okay. Hopefully there's no hidden boxes anywhere. That would just suck. Oh fuck. I mistimed it. Nope, nope. Don't know what I was doing there. Thank you. How many that twice? You already give it to me? You have no confidence in me at all. Oh, okay. We're good. Alright, I could swap off there. Got it. Where is it gonna be uneven now? It is. Shit. Fuck it. 
I'm good. <laughs> Was not waiting again. Oh man. Whew. Okay. Another mask. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Eagles. Yeah. Okay. Do I even need the stairs here? Probably. Ooh, that could have been bad. Checkpoint. All right. So got a lot more of the level based on the boxes. Gotcha. Oh, down here. Wait, I'm going down now? I thought I was going up. Alright, probably slide. Catch the last two. Ooh, okay. Sweet. No hidden ones? Nothing? Okay. Alright. Same method. Ooh, okay. 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 Can I just slide down here? Okay. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I'm gonna mistime this so badly. Yep. Oh, that would have been a checkpoint, too. I can't just jump down there, can I? Can I skip this part? Maybe there's boxes along the way. Were there boxes? Fuck. Oh, I don't have a mask either. Fuck. Do you have me a mask now? No? Okay. Mm. It takes a second. Remember that. Still no mask. Why'd he give me a mask immediately? Hmm. You can't just walk up. Ah, fuck. Can you not jump on the sliding part? Thank you. God damn it. I was really looking forward to that, or having that. I should be able to just hopefully slide. Fuck it. Ooh, okay. Now just don't fall. Simple as that. Damn it. Shit. Okay. Made it down. What is the timing on this one? There's hair on this. Is it just random? Or is it always when it clicks in? I think it's just random. Yeah. Or it's on a different schedule. Damn it! You can't just go down this way, can you? Nah, it's invisible wall. Clever bastards. Ooh, okay. So you could just do that. Okay. Whew. Okay. Get me in there. Checkpoint, right? I think. All right. 22 boxes in here. Get him out. How am I supposed to hit this? Ooh. 
What? Don't tell me you have to, like, fall this... No, you can't even fall that way. Uh... Right, I'm gonna try going across, see what's happening. <laughs> okay. It would make sense you jump back this way, but... Oh. Oh, that didn't fall, okay. Alright, how do I get up there? Uh... Alright, something popped up. Come on, come on. Do I just have to hit this? Or do I just have to hit one of these? There we go. Oh, shit. Yeah, I would have to get over there. Oh, what? Oh, it's a lot higher. So would I have to break it on the one underneath it? Probably. This is gonna be difficult. Ah, fuck. Okay, no. Now I know where it ends. No, it's the first time I fucked that up. Fuck. What? Okay. Right through the gap. Wait, how would I get back? I could get- I could just jump back, right? Alright, so you're up there. I think you can make that jump back. Fuck. Well, it didn't matter anyway, because I broke that. You better be it. Okay. Now just don't die. Hello. Whew. How many is left? Twelve boxes? Should almost be there. Good news, that's a checkpoint. Alright. Ten more boxes. That's just how I'm keeping track. Oh man. Huh? Okay. Can I make this? Ooh, okay. What's over there? What are you hiding? Absolutely nothing. Oh, oh. Oh, come on. Oh. Damn it. Fuck a Rooney. Oh, come on. Why are these stairs so tall? Okay. Shit. Alright, cut that tag. I made it. Did it again. No. Okay. Eight boxes. So fast. Yeah, oh, shit. Okay, no, no. What? Why? Why? Okay. You're so fucking fast. Okay. 
Give me a please checkpoint. Okay. Uh, uh. I hear more glass breaking. <gasps> checkpoint. Yes. Okay. I'm almost there. Six more boxes. Show me what's ahead, please. Stop it. Oof. Oh, man. So when do I want to jump on you? When you're out there? Okay. Oh. oh, I'm at the top. I'm sorry, what? How is this possible? Ooh. How did I do that? Such a long jump. <laughs> Okay. Fucking eagles again. Okay, okay. Don't fuck it up. <gasps> Don't you dare miss this jump, you motherfucker. Ah! Ah. Perfect. 27 crystals. 102%. Got, I think my phone went off. What was that an achievement? Yep. Okay. That's crash one. I'm not gonna do, I'm, I was trying to do these times earlier in the earlier levels. Shit. In these earlier levels, I was doing the gems and the times. These sapphire ones, or nope. Uh, keep pressing the wrong buttons. These platinum, I think they're called. Oh my god, those are diff so difficult to get. I think I got one or two. I think that's the one where you're running from from a boulder. The ones with boulders, I think I got. You know, the hawk. But anyway, that's Crash 1. Uh, I liked it. Really enjoyed it. I really shouldn't have waited so long to finish the game. Or to do the Stormy Ascent. Because now I gotta speedrun this to get the other two games done before 4 comes out. Because it's about two weeks from now. Okay. So yeah, that's it for Crash 1. I might come back and do the time trials to get the rest of the achievements. What are the, what are the ones I'm missing? Uh, all the achievements... Earn 26 rocks, gold or better. Halfway there. Then I got that. Wait. Shouldn't the sequel a thousand? Is there an achievement to get Stormy Ascent time trial? 860. There's still. I don't know. I'll worry, I'll worry about that later. But anyway, yeah, I enjoyed this game. Never played before, or never played the OG one in like the 90s. But I liked it, I enjoyed it. Uh, I think all it's up to do is rank it. Might as well do that now since I've completely finished the game. So if you don't know, I rank games on 10 points based on five categories of two points each. And those categories are design, gameplay, story, worth the money, and funness. First up with the design, I thought this game looked great, considering what it looked like uh, in the 90s. It was so impressive. So great. So beautiful. Uh, I like that the... I really like the cartooning-ish style of things. I enjoy that uh, design. I mean, even the music is great. The sound design is awesome. Uh, so graphics good, music good. Really like the cartooning-ish 3D version. 
design. Design, two out of two. Next up, the gameplay. So in this game, you run and you spin. And that's it. <laughs> you can jump on boxes and you can get a mask that makes you go invincible. But that's it. <laughs> I mean, back in the 90s, that what, what more did you need? But nowadays, so much more you can have. Gameplay, I'll give a one. It's fun spinning, but... I mean, even though this was like a remake, you could have added some a couple things, but that's fine. One ain't that bad. You could have got a zero, but you got a one. Next up, the story. I was confused the entire time. So since I, since they never tell you the plot of this game, I have to look it up. Neocortex and Nitrous Brio use a device called the Evolvo Ray to mutate the various animals living on the island into beasts with superhuman strength and high intelligence. They experiment on Crash, a peaceful bandicoot who Vortex intends to be the leader of this growing military of animal soldiers. Despite Brio warnings, Cortex objects Crash to the untested Cortex Vortex in an attempt to control him. The Vortex re rejects Crash, allowing him to escape. And then you see what happens. Crash escapes and then defeats Neo's army of animals. There's also rescuing Tawana, which they never explain. I thought she was Coco the entire goddamn time. <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, it's a simple story. You know, you go rescue a girl you like from a scientist who made you intelligent. And he's going to do some probably twisted things on her. Story, I'll give a one. One, because it, they never explained any of this stuff. But also because you have, it's Crash Bandicoot. Iconic character, Neo Cortex. Both going down in history as some of the most iconic characters ever made. So yeah, story one. And now worth the money. <sighs> How much would this game have cost in the 90s? Okay, I can't find the original price, but it might have been 60 or... I doubt 60, maybe 40? 30? Who knows? Regardless, you have a lot of time playing this game. Replayability, going for the gems, the time trials, it's amazing. And also with this... The package collection with all three games remastered, it's even better. But I'd say, yeah, it was worth the money. Two out of two. It's got so much replayability, and it's three games in one. And funness, I had a blast playing it, even though I wanted to fucking rip my head off a few times. Uh, yeah, it's still fun just going, playing a simple game, going through some levels, just having a blast. Funness, two out of two. That means we have an 8 out of 10 game. Congr congrats, Crash. And since I am going to play all these, I'm, I'm going to rank the games against each other. But since it's the first one, I'm not going to pull up our listing for that. So, number one. There you go. So the game's an 8 out of 10. And in the series of games, it's number one as of now. I think I might go lower throughout the other games since they're... It seems like they have more stuff going on. Crash 2, Cortex Strikes Back and Crash Warped. Okay. What are some things I didn't talk about? The different islands, they were cool. They all had different features. Two of them were kind of the same. The island and then the, uh... The place after. They were like th What the hell were they called? I think it was... I think you started at Insanity... Insanity Beach. Over here. And then you came to the Wumpa Islands, maybe, or what? I don't know what this jungle place is called, but they're basically, they're pretty much the same. And then over here, you had like the machines, Cortex Castle, that kind of shit. I liked how somewhat di different they were. They could have been, you know, a little more different, but that's fine. Uh, I liked how you could play as Coco. Don't know if that was in the original, probably not. Uh, yeah, that's gonna, I think that's it. That's gonna do it for Crash 1. I'm back for Crash 2 when I record that and put it up, hopefully before Crash 4 comes out. So, thank you all for watching. Be sure to down below, leave a like, subscribe here, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.